how to what authorities are calling the deadliest human smuggling incident in the U.S. Four people have been arrested at this point and are charged in the case. And the number of dead has gone up. It's now at 53. Kathy Hernandez is live with the very latest information this morning. Kathy. Good morning to you. Four people are in federal custody, and that includes the driver of that big rig, who is from Pasadena. Officials have charged the driver of the big rig. His name is Homero Zomorano. He was seen on surveillance video on Monday. Authorities say he abandoned the tractor trailer and may have been on meth. 28-year-old Christian Martinez of Palestine is charged with one count of conspiracy to transport undocumented immigrants, resulting in death. Also charged two men who authorities say we're at the house listed on the tractor trailer's registration and are, are both charged with illegal possession of firearms. Meanwhile, state officials say they're launching new tactics to try and stop another tragedy from unfolding. We're going to deploy strike teams of DPS special agents to conduct surveillance and look for these cloned vehicles, stolen vehicles that are staged along the highways used to smuggle people. And one of the victims identified by the Honduran Foreign Ministry, 28-year-old Adela Ramirez, who had hopes, her family tells us, of reuniting with her mother and sisters here in the United States. Apparently, her grandmother had begged her not to go. Governor Greg Abbott also announced they would be setting up new checkpoints uh, to monitor the trucks that are entering from Mexico. He did not say where they would be located because he doesn't want to tip off future smugglers. Reporting live, Kathy Hernandez, KBRC2 News. Kathy, thank you.